Welcome to our Good Friday Stations of the Cross worship. This is an opportunity for meditation, reflection, and prayer as we walk with Jesus to the cross. Each of the 14 stations will have an image come on screen for two minutes. You will hear a narrator describe the scene and a child and adult offer responses for your contemplation. Let us pray. Almighty God, look with loving mercy on your whole creation, for whom our Lord Jesus was willing to be betrayed, to be given over to the hands of sinners, and to suffer death on the cross, who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The legend goes that after the death and resurrection of Jesus, his mother would often walk the way her son had walked on his journey to the cross, pausing here and there to recall something that had happened at that spot. From these walks grew the early Christian practice of walking the ways of the cross. The story of Jesus' final hours, traditionally called the Passion, is the central story in each of the four Gospels. It is a story we are all familiar with, and yet each Gospel writer tells it from a different perspective. Jesus' own journey to the cross did not take place down some sacred street. Rather, his journey is what made each step, each cobblestone, sacred and filled with the divine. Through this virtual journey, we recognize that every place is an opportunity for an encounter with Christ along our own journey of faith. We continue our Lenten journey as we encounter Christ's journey of passion this Good Friday. Christ, have mercy. Passionate God, have mercy. Jesus, you stand all alone before Pilate. Nobody speaks up for you. Nobody helps defend you. You devoted your entire life to helping others, listening to the smallest ones, caring for those who were ignored by others. They don't seem to remember that as they prepare to put you to death. As a child, sometimes I feel alone. Sometimes I feel that others don't stand up for me and defend me when I am afraid. Sometimes I don't feel like I am treated fairly, especially if I am scolded or corrected. As an adult, sometimes I feel abandoned and afraid as well. Sometimes I too feel like I am treated unfairly or blamed for things unfairly. I have a hard time when people criticize me at home or at work. Help me be grateful for what you did for me. Help me to accept criticism and unfairness as you did and not complain. Help me pray for those who have hurt me. Jesus, as you accepted your cross, you knew you would carry it to your death on Calvary. You knew it wouldn't be easy, but you accepted it and carried it just the same.
as a child, sometimes I don't like the problems that come up my way. Sometimes I try to get others to take care of them or solve them for, for me. Sometimes I become upset and grabby when I'm asked to do even the smallest thing to help others. As an adult, I sometimes feel like I'm not appreciated. Sometimes I feel as if I accepted more responsibility than I need to. I can feel sorry for myself, even though the crosses others carry are much larger than my own. In my self-pity, I don't reach out to help. Jesus, the cross you have been carrying is very heavy. You are becoming weak and almost ready to faint, and you fall down. Nobody seems to want to help you. The soldiers are interested in getting home, so they yell at you and try to get you up and moving again. As a child, sometimes I do something, but then get tired of it. I hurry to finish my work and sometimes don't do my work well. Sometimes I don't pay attention to what I should be doing. When things get hard for me, sometimes I give up. As an adult, I sometimes put things off. I give up too early and sometimes don't do my work as well as I know I can. Jesus, you feel so alone with all those people yelling and screaming at you. You don't like the words they are saying about you, and you look for a friendly face in the crowd. You see your mother. She can't make the hurting stop, but it helps to see that she is on your side, that she is suffering with you. She does understand and care. Sometimes I feel like too many things are going on. Sometimes other kids pick on me and call me names. I need to look around me for a friendly face and for the help I need. I need to share my troubles with those who truly care about me. As an adult, I sometimes feel overwhelmed by many things. Life is so competitive and I worry so much about my future and those who have some control over it. I need to remember that being an adult does not mean having to solve every problem 
all by myself. I need to look around me for a friendly face for the help I need. Jesus, the soldiers are becoming impatient. This is taking longer than they wanted it to. They are afraid you won't make it to the hill where you will be crucified. As you grow weaker, they grab a man out of the crowd and make him help carry your cross. He was just watching what was happening, but all of a sudden he is helping you carry your cross. Sometimes I see people who need my help. Sometimes I pretend not to hear. When my parents call me, I disappear when I know others could use my help. As an adult, sometimes I try to do as little as I can and still get by. Others might need my help, but I ignore their needs. Even when I'm asked to help, I sometimes claim to be too busy. Jesus, suddenly a woman comes out of the crowd. Her name is Veronica. You can see how she cares for you as she takes a cloth and begins to wipe the blood and sweat from your face. She can't do much, but she offers what little help she can. As a child, Sometimes I know someone could use a little help and understanding. They may be picked on or teased on by others, or just sad and lonely. Sometimes I feel that others don't step in to help, but I don't help either. As an adult, I notice the needs around me. Sometimes my own family members crave my attention and I don't even seem to notice. Sometimes a coworker, friend, or family member could use help or understanding, but I don't reach out to help lest I be criticized or that they demand more of me than I'd like to give.
This is the second time you have fallen on the road. As the cross grows heavier and heavier, it becomes more difficult to get up. But you continue to struggle and try until you're up and walking again. You don't give up. As a child, sometimes things get me down. Uh, others seem to find things easier to do or to learn. Each time I fail, I find it harder to keep trying. As an adult, sometimes I think I should know more than I do. I become impatient with myself and find it hard to believe in myself when I fail. It is easy to despair over small things, and sometimes I do. Help me when things seem difficult for me. Even when it's hard, help me get up and keep trying as you did. Help me do my best without comparing myself to others. Jesus, as you carry your cross, you see a group of women along the road. As you pass by, you see they are sad. You stop to spend a moment with them, to offer them some encouragement. Although you are, have been abandoned by your friends and are in pain, you stop and try to help them. As a child, sometimes I think a lot about myself. I think about what I want and would l like people to spend their lives pleasing me. As an adult, sometimes I act like a child. I become so absorbed in myself and what I like that I forget about the needs of others. I take them for granted and often ignore their needs. Help me think more about others. Help me remember that others have problems too. Help me respond to them even when I'm busy or preoccupied with my own problems. Jesus, your journey has been long. You fall again beneath your cross. You know your journey is coming to an end. You struggle and struggle. You get up and keep going. As a child, sometimes I fell time and time again. 
I find it hard to get along with my sisters and brothers. Sometimes I'm not honest. Sometimes I'm lazy. I'm tempted to stop trying. It's just too hard sometimes. As an adult, I often feel I should have conquered my weaknesses by now. I become discouraged when I'm confronted by the same problems over and over again. Sometimes I get weary. When I have health problems, I can become discouraged and depressed. Help me think of the cross you carried. Help me continue to hope that I can make the changes in my life I need to. You didn't give up. I can have the strength to get up again as well. The soldiers notice you have something of value. They remove your cloak and throw dice for it. Your wounds are torn open once again. Some of the people in the crowd make fun of you. They tease you and challenge you to perform a miracle for them to see. They are not aware that you'll perform the greatest miracle of all. As a child, sometimes I'm tempted to repeat stories I know are unclean and disrespectful. I sometimes tried to act grown up by using crude and bad words. As an adult, sometimes I repeat stories that are disrespectful of others. I can entertain thoughts that are not clean. Sometimes I give the young people around me a bad example to follow. Help me to keep myself pure and clean. Help me say things that build up the people around me. Help me overcome worldly desires that I may become more like Jesus. Help me set a good example for others to follow. You are stretched out on the cross you have carried so far. The soldiers take big nails and drive them into your hands and feet. You feel abandoned by the people you loved so much. People seem to have gone mad. You have done nothing but good, yet they drive nails through your hands and feet. As a child, sometimes I hurt others. Sometimes I join with friends and decide not to like another. We gang up against another and cause them hurt and pain. Sometimes I say or do hurtful things to my brothers and sisters. I can wonder what they'd think about themselves if they believed everything I told them about themselves.
As an adult, sometimes I discriminate against others. Even without thinking, I judge others because of their color, intelligence, income level, or name. I forget that I am to live as brother or sister to all people. Sometimes I use harsh words when I speak to my children and family members. I can find it easy to look for something that isn't very important and make it very important. Help me look again at the people around me. Help me see the hurt and pain I have caused in others. Be with me to help me make amends for the harm I have done. As Jesus hung on the cross, he forgave the soldiers who had crucified him and prayed for his mother and friends. Jesus wanted all of us to be able to live forever with God, so he gave all he had for us. Jesus, let me take a few moments now to consider your love for me. Help me thank you for your example of a life lived in constant love. Help me express my love for you. Jesus, how brutally you were put to death, how gently you are taken from the cross. Your suffering and pain are ended, and you are put in the lap of your mother. The dirt and blood are wiped away. You are treated with love. As a child, sometimes I treat others better when they're sad or in pain. When somebody dies, I become very gentle and kind. I notice the good and kind things people say about those who have died. As an adult, I seem to be kinder when someone dies. If only I could learn to see the good things about them while they were alive. If only I would tell those around me how much I love them, while I still have the opportunity to do so. Help me look for the good in those around me, especially those I love the most. Help me live this day as if it were the last. Help me become a more gentle and loving person through my greater appreciation for those around me.
Jesus, your body is prepared for burial. Joseph gave you his own tomb. He laid your body there and rolled a large stone in front of it, then went home. What a sad day it has been for so many people. As a child, sometimes I try to keep everything for myself. I find it hard to share my things with my brothers or sisters and with my friends. As an adult, I can be selfish too. I can accumulate things and keep them for myself. I try to make sure I have what I want before I share what I have with anybody else. Help me think of Joseph of Arimathea, who risked his own life as he accepted Jesus' body for burial. Help me think of how Joseph loved Jesus so much that he gave him his own tomb. <laughs> 